Hi everyone, it's your boy Ricky here for ScrapbookPal.com. You probably thought I wouldn't be back on this channel, but I was asked to do one more video. So today we're going to be making a card using these awesome products from ScrapbookPal.com. We're going to be using the Honey Bee Stamps Let's Hang Together stamp set, along with the matching dies. We're also going to be using um, some Distress Oxide Pumice Stone. We'll be using a clear block. The Misty that I already have loaded up with stamps that we're going to be using. And I stamped these offline, so um, I stamped these out as well. They're part of the, um, the stamp set. And we're going to be making a slimline card. So this is 110 pound cardstock that's cut at, at 8 by 9. And the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and get this, um, this base made. And basically we're going to fold it in half at 4 inches to make the slimline card. We're going to use the square buddy here to do that and we're just going to take the bone folder here and just go down the center and then we'll flip the paper over so that we can get the other side as well once we get that creased we're going to go ahead and get that folded and we'll be able to go ahead and start uh, the process of making the card the bone folder makes a really good crease here so that we want to make sure that it stays down as we're working on it and there we go, that's our actual base. We're gonna be using some other products that I did not place into the beginning of the video because I didn't think about it until afterwards. Next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get these guys stamped out with Gina K's um, ink. Because these are new stamps, I rubbed them down with my palm and my hand so that the ink could stick better to the, uh, the stamp set. We're gonna go ahead and get that stamped out and didn't get a good impression the first time that's why the misty is amazing and we're just going to stamp that out again and go ahead and get um, everything started here for the card to be made so now that we have these two stamped out the next thing we're going to do is stamp the background onto the uh onto the slimline card and basically i'm going to take um, this ink here and i'm going to stamp it out onto the slimline card base and i was going to do second generation stamping on this but it was actually pretty light so what i decided to do is go ahead and get these stamped out all along uh the the slimline card and then we're just going to offset that by um stamping it you know there we go see see that's what i mean by offsetting it kind of like every other one and we're just going to go through that whole process to go ahead and get the whole card covered with these stamps Okay, and now I'm putting the finishing touches onto the card here. I just want to make sure that everything looks good and even and that we have um, full coverage on the card. The next thing I'm going to do is make a frame for the uh, slimline card here. And you can use any frame that you have for a slimline. And I'm using um, Lawn Fawn Cilantro, I believe, is the name of this paper. And we're going to go ahead and get this cut through the die cutting machine. I'm gonna add a little tape to the uh, frame so that it doesn't move. And after this comes out, I also um, cut this out you know, out of white cardstock as well because I'm gonna stack all these together to make um, a frame that's a little taller in the card. Okay, now that we have the white frames out, it's time to start Copic coloring. So please enjoy this. And if you do not wanna to continue to uh, watch the Copic coloring, then you can go to you could go to 10 minutes and 52 seconds and that'll take you to um, the next step in the card process. Until then, listen to some music and watch me color.
Okay, and now that we have all those colored, we're going to go ahead and get these um, die cut out. We're going to be using the coordinating um, dies here that uh, also go along with this stamp set here. And I'm just going to use some tape and get these all um, even around the borders. You know, you want to make sure that um, they're in the right place. So I go ahead and get them taped up, and then I'm going to run them through uh, the die cutting machine. As you can see, there's some hay there that I decided not to use because I could not get the colors right, so I decided not to use that in this card. So we have everything um, cut out on this one panel, and then we're going to come back and look at the second panel that we have and just take a few things off of that as well. Uh, we have a bell of hay, and we have um, the apples, and now we're going to go ahead and get the sentiment stamped out. And we're going to be doing the same thing, just using some uh, black ink here and go ahead and get that stamped out and go ahead and get that stamped out again because I wanted to be a little bit darker and now we have this um, stamped out we can use the coordinating die to go ahead and get this cut out this is why I love honeybee stamps stamp sets because if you get the die if there's a sentiment they usually have a die that you can cut the sentiment out with and makes it easier instead of it just being a rectangle you know you can actually have uh, the words cut out through the die cutting machine and as you can see here this is what it looks like once it's been cut out so now what we're going to do is go ahead and get the frames all glued together and I'm basically just going to glue the two white pieces together and then glue the uh, green on top of that and I'm using some art glitter glue here I love this glue I love the fine point that it has. It makes things like this pretty easy to um, work with. So we're going to go ahead and get this white piece on top. And then what we'll do is once we get this all even and make sure that it's exactly on top of one another and it's not offset, then we'll do the exact same thing with the green cardstock. And then as you can see here, we're going to go ahead and get this all even. I had to work with it a little bit because the white was showing. It probably wouldn't have mattered as much, but, you know, I'm just picky like that and I want it to be perfect. So I worked with it a little bit. That's the good thing about using uh, liquid glue is you can actually uh, move things around when you need to. Now what I'm going to do is just play around and make sure that everything is where I want it to be. And we're going to go ahead and use some foam squares here from scrapbookpal.com. Uh, this is scrapbook adhesive foam squares. And we're going to go ahead and get this card um, started to be put together. And one thing that I should have done first is actually glued down this frame because later on in the video you're going to see why. But I'm going to go ahead and add some foam tape to all these individual items and go ahead and get those placed onto the card. Um, the sunflower and the corn plant, I'm actually going to glue straight onto the cardstock. So I also cut off the bottom of the plant because I did not want it to go past the frame. So I went ahead and got that on there. And now we're going to do the sunflower. I did not have to uh, clip any of the sunflower off because it did not go um, beyond the frame there. Now that we have them down, we're going to go ahead and get the pumpkins up and the bale of hay along with the apples, and these are also going to be placed um, onto the card with some foam tape as well. I'm going to place the birds on both of the scarecrows, and then we're going to go ahead and get everything placed down onto the card. It takes a few um, foam squares here to go ahead and get this little thing placed on there, and then the same thing for the bell of hay and the apples. So here you're going to see where I made the mistake of not placing the frame onto the card first. As you can see here, I had to slide this in and then I had to kind of bend the scarecrow's arm and get this on and then I couldn't get it even all the way. So I had spread glue all over the front of the card, but it did work out. And I did have to chop a little bit off the edge there um, of the male uh, scarecrow because it was a little uneven with the borders. But anyway, I'm 
going to finish up this card. I want to thank you guys for um, visiting the scrapbookpal.com YouTube channel today. I truly appreciate it. And I may be back as a guest designer one day. Um, you know, I really enjoy doing these cards for you guys, and I hope that you enjoy Scrapbook Pal uh, for sharing them. So make sure that you head to all their social media accounts and make sure you head over to the store and buy some awesome stamp sets like this one from uh, Honey Bee Stamps. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram and on YouTube by searching for Bromero cards. Oh, and then here we're going to go ahead and put the, um, the sentiment up onto the card. I'm putting some little uh, square adhesives here um, to go ahead and place that onto the card. Anyway, thank you guys very much for watching this. I truly appreciate it, and I hope that you are doing well. I know COVID is still around, and it's, you know, it seems to be getting worse. So just stay, keep it together, stay inside, wear your masks, and all that great stuff, and we'll get through it all together. And until then, let's hang out soon. I'll talk to you later. Bye.